Prices for propane have almost doubled this year, topping $1 per gallon for the first time seasonally since 2014. With more demand across the nation and overseas, the market is bracing for winter months. And while this will impact the nearly 6 million American homes who use propane for heat, it also impacts Alabama's poultry industry. And News 19's Madison Neal spoke with a North Alabama farmer today and joins us with more on this. Greg and Siobhan, if you don't know much about the poultry industry, farmers or growers have to heat chicken houses to keep baby birds warm so they survive and grow. And a lot of poultry farmers use propane gas for heat. To be honest with you, I'm nervous of what's going to happen uh, during the winter. Uh, Rising propane prices. We've just bought over $2,000 worth of gas. That's something Marshall County poultry farmer George Sumners expects to be a challenge this winter for his family business. I don't know what the weather is going to do, nor does anyone else, but all indications are propane prices are going to continue to go up. Sumners grew up on a farm and started his own more than 45 years ago. We've been raising broilers here on this farm since 1975. Sumners keeps flocks of chicken year round. He has two propane tanks, 1,000 gallons each, to keep two chicken houses warm so baby chicks can survive and grow. And to heat a house up at 92 degrees requires uh, quite a bit of propane gas, which is getting more expensive every day. The Alabama Poultry and Egg Association says Alabama has 25 poultry producers and is the number two state in broiler production nationwide. Our broiler growers are the ones that actually use the largest amount of propane because that's the birds that are grown from day of age up to even a nine pound bird that goes into the grocery stores and the fast food chains. Sumner says it's not uncommon to have to fill those tanks every two or three weeks and the spike in propane prices means his profit margin will likely shrink. Now, ultimately, poultry farmers will be the ones eating that extra cost to keep birds warm this winter season. The Alabama Poultry and Egg Association doesn't expect the cost to be passed on to the consumer.